Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing The Outer Worlds. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys how this game runs on low system settings and going over the minimum system requirements or how a low end system will run this game. If you guys have any questions about your system or how it's going to run this game, make sure you leave a like, maybe subscribe to my video, but drop your system specs down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. So, first things first, all this gameplay footage that you see here, it is all run at the lowest system settings. So here we go, we can jump into there, you can see how everything's run, you can see graphics quality set to low, which means everything here, as far as graphics setting goes, those are all low. Now, there are going to be additional mods that you can check out that are probably going to get the system specs even lower, but this is sort of the default, out of the box, a game run on low. So this is uh, the experience that you're going to have. Everything's going to run pretty smoothly. You're not going to have any issues with draw distances or not being able to see enemies. I've gotten at least like 10 hours into the game this so far. And I've had no issues whatsoever playing the game on low as far as the gameplay setting or the feel goes. It all feels perfect. Obviously, it's going to look better on high because that's just how things work. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, if you're wondering what the low system requirements are, what the minimum system requirements, recommended system, system requirements are. Sorry about that. My tongue is getting twisted. The official minimum requirements are Windows 7, a core i3 or a Pentium 2 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and a NVIDIA GTX 650 Ti or an AMD HD 7850 or 7850. Now, I'm running this game right now on an HP Omen gaming laptop. It's got a Core i7, and more importantly, it's got a Radon 560 a graphics card or 5, 580 graphics card 580 RX and what I've noticed here is actually my system's having trouble with this so if you guys are running this game on a laptop here's what I'm going to recommend for you my system specs are not crazy but they're not that bad and they are definitely above the minimum system requirements for this game but for whatever reason maybe it's me maybe it's just my laptop this game is running extremely hot for me it's a great game to play it looks beautiful but every time i play it i feel like maybe 30 minutes in i'm running to my fridge just to grab like a cold pack to put on top of my laptop now maybe that's a sign that my laptop's getting older which it is maybe it's a sign that there's too much dust inside of my laptop which again there probably is but that's just something I've noticed. I can play Rust for like four or five hours and I'm not running into any issues as far as systems overheating or anything like that goes. But when I play The Outer Worlds, I'm definitely noticing that my system is heating up and the room that I'm in is getting a little bit hotter, which, you know, if it's fall, that's fine. But if you're playing this game in the middle of summer, that's not the best thing for you. Anyways, I just thought I'd give that recommendation, give that advice because it's something that I've noticed and something that I thought I could pass on to you guys and hopefully it's helpful advice. Now the official recommended requirements because those are important too, Core i7 or a Ryzen 5, 8 gigs of RAM and a GeForce GTX 1060 or Radon RX 470. I've got way above that and actually my computer can run this game on high. So if you've got like an HP Omen gaming laptop, you can run this game on high. I've just noticed this running hot for me. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm definitely looking into it because I'd love to run this game on high. It's just, I don't want to overheat anything. And I think that's something everybody should be aware of. Anytime you're running a game, anytime you're playing a game, your laptop is going to get hot. Or if you're running on a laptop, it's going to get hot. If you're running on a desktop, it's still going to get hot. But you always want to keep an eye on just how hot it necessarily is because you don't want your system to overheat. You don't want there to be issues. You don't want to wreck your hardware. And that's one thing I'm definitely aware of and I'm definitely trying not to do. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give you guys the same warning. But overall, the game's beautiful. The game is so much fun. It's definitely one of those games that I'm going to complete. And there's definitely going to be a ton more Outer Worlds videos coming to my channel. So if you guys are watching this and it is November, Jesus, it's already November of 2019 then there's going to be more videos to come. So check out my channel. There's probably going to be some helpful tips and stuff like that about the Outer Worlds. I've already got a review and a few other tips. Um, if you're watching this and it's way in the future, hello, I'm from a different decade than you probably. And by a different decade, I mean, eh, never mind, whatever. Anyways, if you're watching this in the future, there's probably going to be a ton more videos out there. Like, there's going to be a ton of guides and stuff like that. So if you get stuck, feel free to use those. And I try my best to reply to any comments that are left on my videos. I'm a pretty small YouTuber. I've only got, like, 4,000 subs, which means I actually have that ability to reply to everything. So 
like I said, feel free to drop me a comment. Feel free to say, hey, what's up? And um, hopefully I'll uh, see you guys around. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the fact that people take time out of their day to watch these videos and listen to me jabber on. And because I appreciate that fact, I'm not going to make this video 10 minutes long. So uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.